Hey, a pleasant good day, everyone. This is B, or AKA Joe from B Pal Picks, and this is going to be our NFL Picks of the Week or Plays of the Week video for you all. And I will post on our Patreon the picks that are going to be the money picks that I think you should actually play tomorrow for sure. Where the ones on the video or the ones that I don't mention in there are ones that you can either take or leave or play, whatever you so choose. So, with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the Green Bay Packers. Uh, this is a tough game to pick, but I definitely think it favors the Packers uh, coming in. The Go Pack Go are obviously at home, but it's just phenomenal that Brady was able to throw 40 touchdowns again uh, at the age of, what is he, 43, I think now. So, uh, I mean, the dude just keeps killing it. He keeps being absolutely ridiculous, and uh, it, it's just a great shout-out to him at the age of 43. Uh, he's able to still do that. And then Rodgers threw 48-5. and five. So you have two of the season's best cues in there today versus Ronald Jones and Aaron Jones, the Jones squared, that are two of the better running backs to watch as well. So this definitely has an exciting game to be tomorrow. I said the day by accident, but tomorrow. And that's what it's going to be, a very exciting game. I just think because of the Packers' offense, which is ranked the lowest, and that's in passing yards ninth, uh, compared to the uh, defense of their team, which is ranked the lowest in rushing yards and points, which is 13th, uh, is going to be able to prevail uh, behind uh, um, Aaron Rodgers' arm. Because the defense of Tampa Bay, their biggest weakness is their passing yardage game is ranked 21st in the league. And when you're going up against Aaron Rodgers, obviously you're going up against that bad man, and uh, he's going to get it done. And that's going to be a tough game for the defense of Tampa Bay. I think it's going to be a close game because of the offense of Tampa Bay. So I would say the Packers are going to win that game. It is a three and a half spread. I wouldn't take the spread, but because of the offenses of these teams, I would actually take the over at 51 and a half in that game. Because yes, there are two very good defenses, but there's just so much offensive weapons on both of these teams that I think the offense is going to prevail more in this game over the defense. That's just my personal opinion with these two quarterbacks, with both of the Joneses back there at running back. Both of these guys obviously have very elite and ample wide receivers. Um, I think it's going to be a more offensive, even with these defenses, than defensive game. But I definitely think the Packers are going to win. The spread is going to be close, so I would say make that a 50-50 of your choice, the three and a half spread at 110. And over 51 and a half is more likely in this game with these two legend future Hall of Famer QB and the two Joneses at back that are two of the more fun running backs to watch. But now moving on to our second game, we have the Buffalo Bills at the Kansas City Chiefs. Um, this one, honestly, is probably harder to pick than the first game. Uh, you have a guy in Allen and Mahomes, 37-10 and 10 for Allen, a 38-6 and 6 for Mahomes. Um, and they were pretty much identical almost in their stats in the regular season when you look at them. And really both obviously came up, showed up, and showed out. But we know what Mahomes is. Mahomes has become really the face of the NFL. And now Allen has really started to become one of the best quarterbacks. Talked about guys from last year becoming the guy that got more consistent, ran more, looked a little bit more flashy and pizzazz last season to this season. Now really opening it up. Stefan Diggs making him that very ample uh deep passer which he wanted to do it seemed like his whole uh career and now that he has that guy to be able to rush it down the field to it's with a bunch of keen success so I think that's going to continue I think a big thing uh for the Chiefs in this game is going to be obviously how well does their defense perform uh via their uh rushing defense the rushing defense is ranked 21st in the league so if the bills are able to open up the offense running with Devin Singletary a little bit and then have Josh Allen run those play actions he's so good on and slide him outside of the pocket and let him launch it down the field uh, that's going to create potentially problems for Kansas City because that's when they're not at their best. But for Kansas City to win this game, they're going to have to really effectively stop the running game and not be able to allow the Bills to open up their offense because Singletary and Allen are able to run a more 50-50 split, which is not going to benefit the Kansas City Chiefs at all. I personally believe the Chiefs are going to be able to um, supplant their 
de- or the offense of the Bills enough that they're going to win this game. I also think this game is going to be a close game, but I think because of Patrick Mahomes, he's a guy like Brady and Manning. You don't want to give him that final drive, and I think if he gets it, he's going to end up winning it. So this is a game that I believe 54 and a half is a is a uh, large total. So I would say going by that, I would go under with the total. But I would say the Chiefs are going to win, and they should cover the minus three uh, spread, and they will be under 54 and a half, I will say, for that game. I think the Chiefs will be able to suffice enough at stopping the, Chief, uh, stopping the Bills rushing game and then be able to get the win. I feel like they're not going to struggle as much as some people think uh, going into their 21st ranked rushing defense against the Bills with Josh Allen and Devin Singletary, but we'll have to see because that's certainly the way they're going to lose most likely if they do lose. Personally, I see them stopping the run and Andy Reid and their defense really game planning well for this and coming in with an ample mindset to be able to stop the run of the Buffalo Bills and not allow them to open up their offense to full effect. That's why I believe the Chiefs will pull this out. But that has been a quick picks video for BPAL picks. I'm Joe Borick. Have a great and safe, pleasant day, everybody, and enjoy all the football games. Peace out, everybody.